Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for June 5th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, as well as a link to a video. If you're unsure of any terminology I'm using or techniques I'm using, definitely check out that video. I go over it very carefully. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so there are no duplicates in this top band, but let's see if there's anything else that might be a little bit more subtle that we can do. Um, really, there, I don't think there, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't think there's anything. I think I'm going to get better fruit by moving on. All right, so we have this two that doesn't have a buddy, five, eight, nine. Nobody's in this band either. I do have this five, eight, though, that looks into this box. There's, that leaves only two places for a five, eight. So we end up with a five, eight hidden pair, and that leaves behind a triple, which is a two, four, and nine triple. That can't be four. So two, four, nine, that does provide a buddy for this two. This two also looks down. And so there's this is the only place for two in the box now. Uh, it also provides a buddy for this nine. This nine looks up, putting a nine here. Uh, what about the four? The four does not seem to help, as far as I can tell. All right, what about this three, seven? Doing the same thing to this box. So we have a three, seven pair here. These are a bunch of New York Times tricks as well. The 5, 8, 9, uh, the 5 and the 8 are going to end up here, right? So this is 5, 8, and then this is also going to be a triple. This is uh, 1, 2, 3. We need 4 and 6. Okay. So we filled that triple. That does give a buddy for that 1 there and the 6. So the 1 and the 6 are here. In fact, these two 6s look in. This 6 looks in. We can place the 6 even better. And now the one in this box goes in one of these two. Wow, okay. So in fact, this is just one three seven, which I'm gonna fill. It's five eight. So hmm, what do I do with that? I think that's all I want to do with this band for now. We got quite a bit out of it, but it's not really gonna resolve itself. I don't think it's worth penciling these right now. I am noticing four in this box though. Yeah, because the triple, the four is in, the, in both of these triples, and this four looks down. So we do want a four in one of these two. Maybe I should take a brief look at just each digit. So one, two, three. Three is not so special. Four, five, yeah, uh, six, seven. I'm noticing this cell is seeing a lot of them. Uh, so let's think about what this cell can be. It can't be one. It could be two. No, it can't be two. Three. It could be four. It can't be five, six, seven. It could be eight, but not nine. Okay, so it is down to four, eight. I think that's worth marking. Okay, other than that, um, we are going to move on to the next band now. So uh, eight and nine, the nine does have a buddy. They look in. That does place this nine. Getting rid of this nine here. Um, okay, so the nine and the eight, we also have three, four, seven. So uh, the three has a buddy, putting a three in one of these two. Four and seven do not. This is a filled box row, so we want to pay more close attention to these digits here. Specifically, the six is helpful. The six looks in, the six looks down, and these can't be six. So we end up with a six in one of these two. That's going to point left along with this six, putting a six in one of these two. All right, unfortunately, no help from above. Um, I'm looking at this three, five, six, nine as well. This column has the six, but it still needs three, five, and nine. Lots of hidden, uh, hidden uh, pairs and triples in this puzzle. So three, five, nine go here, which means this can't be seven or one. This can't be the five or the nine. In fact, where does nine go in this column is probably the easiest question to ask first. But really, we've got a hidden three, five, nine here. However, we want to resolve that. This is going to end up the three, the five, and the nine. That's just how it's going to happen. Because the 9 ends up here. It's the only place for 9. We have this 9 here. And then we have the, the 3 and the 5, but the 5 tells us the order. So that's going to resolve a bunch of stuff. This 8 and this 5, this 8, this 4. Nice that we marked that. Uh, we're down to 1, 7, but that, that 1 tells us that's 7 and 1. That gives us 3 and 7. And we're just left with these triples. Nice. That can't be 3. All right, so now this, this stack is looking really juicy. I just want to take a look at it now. Uh, we end up with this triple and this pair. 
So let's let's take a look at what those are. We need the one. We have two, three, four, five, six. We need seven, eight. This can't be the seven or the eight. So we actually get this one here, and we're left with a seven, eight pair. And this is whatever's left. Uh, the two, the two and the four actually. And this four tells us the order. That's two and four. Nice. All right. We're just going to fill these pairs and triples, and then we'll continue with this band. We'll go back to this band. So um, what is this? This is one. Uh, is it seven? No, it's eight. One and eight. And then here we need two, three, and five. And this can't be two or five, so it's a naked three. Okay. Nice. So this stack cleaned up very nicely. Let's go back to this band. Um, so did we get, yeah, we got this two looking into here. So two is one of these two. That's going to point in along with this two. And that's going to place the two in this box. So that's the two, and that makes that the six. This can't be six anymore. Um, I feel like there's just a lot more to do in this band. Um, three, six, four. The four looking in here means the four is down here. Um, seven, nine, two, six, eight. Interesting. Okay. Maybe there isn't more to do here right now. I'm going to look at the stacks instead. Let's look at these stacks. Okay. So I got the one and the two here. The twos are done. The one, not helpful, unfortunately. Uh, and we've got two, six, eight, nine. So the twos are done. Six, nobody. Eight and nine might be helpful. So we've got the nines looking up and this nine looking in. Nice. That does that does buddy up with this nine. No help down there. So nine's one of these two. In fact, this row is down to four digits. So we'll look at that in a second. I want to finish this stack buddying first. We have these two eights looking up. So there's an eight in one of these two. Aha. Why do I have a six there? Did I just accidentally put it? I think I just accidentally put it. Okay. So the eight matches this eight. Basically, the question is where does eight go in this row? And the answer is it has to go over here, making this uh, actually it has to go exactly. <laughs> Sorry, ignore the red. It has to go exactly here, and then that places the nine here. This can't be nine. Ooh, not changing modes properly. This can't be nine, so that's a nine. Sorry, I am a little tired today, and I, it's affecting my motor skills, apparently. Uh, so this is the four for the row. I have no idea if it's affecting my solve. You never know if you're, when you're, when you're tired enough, you don't know that you're not thinking well. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so I just got a bunch of digits here. So eight, nine, I was looking at this stack. Does this band have more to do? Not really, no. I guess I have fours limited. The, this four looking in, this four looking in puts a four in one of these two. Okay, I think that's all I want to do with that. Uh, anything more with this stack? So I took a look at, let's see, how about the four or the nine? Nines are done. Still nothing with ones. Two, six, eight, nine. Okay. I think I got everything with the stack. Is uh this this column is down to four though. So I need to do one, three, five, six here. Um well these can't be one, so these are three, five, six. And this can't be the six, so this is one, three, five. Not super exciting, is it? This column is down to four as well. We need one, four, five, seven. One, four, five, seven. Well, this can't be one or four. So this is down to five, seven only. Um, this can't be four either. So this is one, five, seven. And I think this can be any of one, four, five, seven, surprisingly. Okay. Uh, I don't think these do anything immediately for us. So let's move. We did this stack already. Let's move on to this last stack here. See if we find anything good. I've got five, eight, nine here. So the nines are done. Uh, the five does have a buddy. These fives look down, putting a five in one of these two. Um, the eight does have a buddy as well, putting an eight in one of these two. And look at that. We have a hidden quad, <laughs> which really is just telling us that this is a naked single, right? It's a naked single one because it can't be. It can't be two. 
three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, or nine. So it's a naked one. <laughs> the, the hidden quad told us it's a naked one. But anyway, this is a hidden quad. We have all of our digits accounted for. So we can just convert these uh, corner marks to center marks, and then we don't we don't really need the corner marks anymore. You're welcome to keep them, but I don't like to. Um, all right, so that makes a pair here. We need the two and the seven. Um, what else does this do? Ah, that makes a two five seven triple here. That's quite nice. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna green that for a second so that we can remember it. Two five seven triple. Uh, that means this can't be a 5. In fact, that does leave 5 to just these two places in the box. Oops, 5. Um, so the rest of this row, still quite a lot left. Okay. 2, 5, 7. What about that these can't be 7? Is that interesting? 7 is in one of these two now. This 2-7 pair affected the box already. Um, <clears throat> what about the 5? Yeah, we have the 5 in the box as well. All right, it feels like I should be able to get more out of that 2-5-7. Um, but the rest of the row has too many digits left for me to bother thinking about it. I, I guess I could. Um, okay, what do we need? We need 1-3-4. One, one, Six, eight. One, three, four, six, eight. These aren't one or four. So one, three, four, six, eight. These aren't eight. This isn't one. So three, four, six. This one's not three. So one, four, six. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth it. Um, but I baked in that triple now, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that we got out of this that would be interesting? I mean, the rest of this box is just one, three, four, six. I could have done that. The ones in one of these two. Uh, one, three, four, six. These aren't four. So these are one, three, six. This isn't three. This isn't one. So the three is in one of these two. That doesn't really do much, does it? Do, do we have any pa random pairs or triples? Not that I can tell. OK, so what else are we doing here? We almost have every cell penciled, <laughs> which is annoying. Um, maybe this cell, honestly, penciling this cell might be helpful. It's missing the three, four, so it can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So it's only a seven. Yeah, that's a naked seven right there. The one, one cell I didn't have marked, that's not a seven. That places the seven, which places the five. We get the two and the five and the seven and the two here. Um, this is the, this five looks down, making this the three, the six and the one. That's all we needed. We get a deep, deep, deep in the corner. We get our four and our six here. This is not a six. This is three or eight. Okay. Places the four in this column slash box. Uh, this can't be one. So this is five and one. This is eight and seven. Two, five, six, eight. Four and two. We get our one, four, three, six, eight, one, eight, three, and we're done. Oh, well, I, I thought that took longer. Um, cool. So this naked seven, yeah. That was really important. Um, there, were, there was some interesting stuff going on in this puzzle. Early on, we got a bunch of like hidden pairs, hidden triples. Those were really fun. Um, found this random triple here. I don't even know if that ended up helpful. Probably did. I, I baked it in, though. I baked it into my center mark, so I didn't get to see the, the true effect of it. But yeah, cool. Um, I know I ended up placing this 5. Uh, once I placed the 7, I ended up placing that 7 and that 5. And the only reason we had that 5 was because of this triple. So I, I, I tend to believe that that was important. Anyway, uh, let me know how you did. And if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.